Yo, what's good, y'all? In case y'all didn't know, Super, who hasn't been here for a couple weeks, he has been fighting something called SJS, or Steven Johnson Syndrome. This was caused by an allergic reaction to a medication called Bactrim. SJS causes the body to attack itself. It's pretty much like it's burning itself from the inside out. It affects your, like, from your head to toe, it'll be your face, your back, genitals, etc. And it could also be caused by other antibiotics. And this is our way of using a platform to raise awareness of this illness because it could happen from any common medicine you take in it and it could happen to anyone that's around you. We got a GoFundMe link in the description. You can donate anonymously. It doesn't have to be a big amount. Everything adds up. We appreciate everything and we love you guys. We appreciate your support. You guys have been going hard for us, going hard for Super, and we definitely see all of it. Make sure y'all sign up to the Patreon. Also, we're going on vacation. That's we will fact. not right, be you. dropping an episode next week. So, but we will have one for Patreon. So, if you want to stay, you know, fed, you want to continue to have some content, yep. me, sign up to the Patreon. Sign up to Patreon. Bro, that's my shit now, bro. I say that to everybody. What? I said that to a nigga in Popeyes because I had a coupon, but I was like, you don't got tenders, just make it wings. He's like, all right. I was like, bro, you a real nigga. You can't get pregnant. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> started yeah. laughing. <laughs> started laughing. I guess, man. Um, yeah. Damn. That's some real um, American shit. Look. You said we still have all the 40 minutes that we was recording prior to this? 4-1. All right, 41 minutes. 4-1 yeah. minutes. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, fine. Um, 41. <laughs> all right, cool. Um... <laughs> How was your? Nah, let me... No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Now you want to record with us? Anyway, thanks for thanks for coming, Art. We know what he's about to do. Yeah, you about to um, mic check another room. Yeah. Anyway, I was Pause. gonna say he's gonna go taste Pause. himself, but how, how, how was your week, Same my thing. brother? Live. <laughs> uh, my week was good, man. I cannot complain. Yeah. I tried to go to the gym on December first, but it did not work. Oh, because that was Danny's. Um, yeah, because yeah, and Danny said. If you really want to start your New Year's, New Year's resolution, start on December 1st, right? Yeah. Because if you fail, you can restart on New Year's instead of failing and starting again on February. Nobody starts again in February. They just give up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's, usually, try twice. it's usually after the first day. Niggas be like, all right, well, the first is yeah. over. So I ain't doing and that then, shit no more. Next you, year. If you start on the first, you already into it 30 days. When January 1st come, you got a habit. You got my okay. yeah. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah, fuck um, that. How you doing, my brother Binks? I'm cool, man. Okay. Highly favored. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Were you a person like always wore pink, like in high school and stuff like that? Oh uh, yeah. That was like not dipset related, but not just dipset related. on your own. It was just like I feel <laughs> like Cameron boosted it. You feel me? And made okay. it more cooler. But, but you started it. I, I didn't start it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like to wear the color. All right, that's what's up, man. Yeah. Um, how you doing, my brother Price? And it's not hot pink, so you good? Yeah, you know, it's not <laughs> yeah. no bright, bright shit. I'm chilling, man. You chilling? You know what I mean, um, I encourage y'all to get a, a choker. Y'all should look into that. No money. Nah. What do you mean? Whoa. What do you mean? Elaborate. I don't got no money. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yeah. You know, like a, a nice little choker piece. You feel me? Okay. Little... Oh yes, yes. We know your choker. Yes. You know. Yeah. Okay. Do you let your... accessorize? You want to yeah, say accessorize? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Do you let your gal choke you with it? Nah, nah. I'm already being. I know, but do you, do you let her like oh, nah, walk you can't. around? <laughs> nah, she like, walk you like a dog? You can't put your you go ahead, T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She can't put her she can't put her, her hands in the in the choker. Is it is it because the hand can't fit in it there? It can't fit in there. Oh, Damn, okay, that's cool. tight, bro. All right. It's not, uh, so why didn't you wear it today? Nah, nah, I'm not. I'm not. You need to. I don't breathe. feel like being stimulated. You could have been I'm over a, here I'm like this. Of, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm around a, a bunch of men, so I don't, right, I don't cool. need to be stimulated. That, that, but wait, talking about what type of choker? Like a chain choker or like a real dungeon? It don't matter. You could be a that chain choker. Spike. That shit got spikes on. Nah, my shit don't got spikes. <laughs> okay. And you identify as straight, correct? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. No, so yeah, the audience yeah. can know. Yes, yes. All right. Yeah. So I heard. I heard that exact same monologue from someone we met. He was a bald black guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know him. Oh my yeah. God. I know him. Shout out to the Trumpeter. Yeah, but I'm just yeah. not doing he what wore he's doing. He wore a choker too. Understood, understood. Yeah, price. <laughs> OnlyFans is back or it's not? Nah, 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 nah. We're going to put it on It's going to come. It's going to come back. It's suspended though. right now. But um, yeah, I know how my son gets Oh, yeah, down. free price. He locked up. Yeah, Instagram I'm locked up. Jail. Instagram jail. 
I'm free February 2024. So damn, free mm. free you, my boy. Yeah, yeah. We um, gotta make shirts. Danny, how was your week, my brother? <laughs> my week was good, man. It's um tattoo season, so if y'all need tattoos, I'm your guy. Yes. And oh yeah. It's the best. This winter is the best time because you don't gotta worry about the sun. And by the time you heal up, you know summer's here, and you look. Good. Can I help? Can you help? Yeah, sure. I tattoo guys, so if you <laughs> tattoo, need a tattoo, guys, I, oh, he does I only, tattoo. I do the women I because the guys. Know. Know. Okay. I mean, you know if that's your <laughs> niche, then that's your niche. Y'all always <laughs> trying to <laughs> switch shit, bro. But anyway, <laughs> we have bigger problems and bigger fish to fry. My landlord just texted me, do not use the shower. <laughs> 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 that is some bullshit. <laughs> 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 like, that right. What the fuck <laughs> kind of shit is that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> yeah, that just smoke, man. I ain't gonna. Yo, he played <laughs> too much. Oh yo. Which one of y'all showers I can use after this shit? Oh, <laughs> yo. So marvelous. You gotta come up to the dungeon, though, bro. Mm. Uh, anyway, you guys, <laughs> <laughs> we have to my right and to your left. Uh-huh. When I did it the last time, it was like right. the right. You was right. Yeah, yeah, he he was right. 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 Yep. All right, cool. Yeah. To my right and your left, I want to make sure that I'm getting this all the way right we have the best Mm -hmm. pleasure and intimacy coach right in the new york city Mm -hmm. area right ladies and gentlemen let's make some noise for sir marvelous king Pop, pop, pop. Another, another round of applause for the suit, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. See you in that money green. Yeah. Yeah. See you in that man. money green. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot of coordination going on here. Yeah, it's man. fire. Um, very inspiring because, believe it or not, as what generation are we? The one before the new one. Mil- are you millennials? <laughs> millennials? Millennials, yeah. Millennials. It's, it's kind of harder for like millennials to put on suits outside of the corporate. Mm-hmm. Well, it's like we need to find a good ass reason to do it. You know what I'm saying, yeah, true. But a good suit is like lingerie to women. So that's what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. so you gotta keep that in mind. Always keep a couple. And and that's why you mm-hmm. here to coach us, man, and um, teach us about the things that we don't know because we tend to bask in ignorance a lot. And mm-hmm. um, as I become an older man, I'm trying to break out of that habit. That's fair man. enough. Fair but, enough. But um, thanks for coming, my brother. Mm-hmm. Um. What would you say is a pleasure and in intimacy coach? Because when I think of coaches, I think of like Phil Jackson and shit like right. that, Bulls and shit like that. So why are you a coach in your particular arena? So um, I officially am a, a professional dominant. So basically what I do is I'm like the perfect person for a person to come to who wants to explore kink or BDSM for the very first time. Okay. So, you know, a lot of people have interest in things that they want to try, but they don't know where to go to. And a lot of the times... Um, either a person is single, so they don't have somebody they can, they can explore certain things okay. with, or they're in a relationship, but both people don't know where to begin. They don't have the right tools. They don't right have the right expertise, and they just want to make sure that they remain safe while they're exploring different things. Okay. So, you know. So outside of the actual actions to be done, like... Um I heard like you throw people off the roof, catch them at the bottom. <laughs> of like Batman that. type but shit? Out, outside of that, right? <laughs> you actually like tell them how to introduce this to their partner absolutely so the best way i like to do is i'm a hands-on coach so what does that mean is um for the most part when i deal with couples um they will come to the dungeon and after a consultation and a negotiation where i show them all the things that i would love to use or based on their interests mm-hmm. um then i would give them a demonstration on how i would use particular tools so, so go you're ahead player. you're gonna ask you what i'm demonstrating on, on the woman. my bitch yes no <laughs> <laughs> so, oh is, is the dungeon your version of 50 shades of gray type shit it's better than 50 shades oh, of gray okay because okay. okay. i was gonna stop you earlier because you casually threw dungeon in there yeah i'm gonna go ahead and place my last dollar that none of us own dungeons i don't know <laughs> i do right? nigga. i oh. got a basement no okay. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. so what is a dungeon for like those who probably don't know so that's a great question um so Where? for most people when you see bdsm dungeons they're usually like somewhat scary spaces or even it kind of looks decrepit or like you know messed up my dungeon is more of a beautiful space the way that i represent myself when i'm out and on podcasts or doing shows is the mm-hmm. same way you could expect to walk into a beautiful place when you walk into the dungeon it's still going to have some intimidating aspects to it like mm-hmm. swords on the wall toys and <laughs> floggers so and got, things like, of that concrete nature walls and shit like that so yeah we have the color we chose was very intentional um, okay. as far as the way we colored the walls i got clouds on the ceiling i mean i think i showed one of y'all videos of that it that was me but, yeah yeah. yeah so another question in addition to that um mm. 
And I have a I have a lot of beautiful art on the walls as well, but it's okay. more erotic art. You know gotcha. what I'm saying? So <clears throat> the whole idea is for you to feel turned on when you walk in, so to speak. Is this like where where is your dungeon located? Is this like in your crib, or this is like a spot where you? This is a separate spot from where I live. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You said they got a, like most of them are typically like decrepit, scary places. Yeah. So yeah. if I was to model my dungeon after like a project elevator, mm -hmm. would that be cool? If that's your style, like you can like literally, <laughs> if that's what you into, as long as you know what I mean, you keep it you know clean and shit like that, like. That's all good. I was trying to go on brand. You know, Project Elevator's got kind of smell like <laughs> No, no. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. You want your shit to smell like She's going to dry up right away. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you got to stay on brand. Nah, that's just up. I'm assuming that there's a science to all of this because sometimes even like colors and a certain color yes. palette, you would choose a certain things, evoke certain emotions or thoughts. You know what I'm yes. Yeah, so yeah. I was telling you, my dungeon is coming. Mm -hmm. next year. No, mm -hmm. I'm playing with you. Know what I'm, <laughs> but, um, I'm assuming that that's how that works. So you're very like particular about what you're going for. So absolutely. So I know that you're joking about having your own dungeon, but the reality yeah. is, is when I go on tour, I don't take the dungeon with me. I bring the dungeon to wherever I'm going. Okay. So I'll decorate spaces. I'll change the light bulbs in different places. Gotcha. I'll okay. put, you know, um, uh, this could be a dungeon, right? Right. Now. I could listen. I could bring all my shit in here. So and by the time you come shit. back in like two hours, I could make this shit look real sexy. Yeah, you okay. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I do that. I, I like we're going to Cali on uh, Wednesday. So we're going to book an air. We already booked the Airbnb and we're going to turn that entire dungeon space fight. into a beautiful place. You know what I mean? So when you walk in, like you mentioned, mm. the the lights based on the colors that I choose are going to mm. be good. I make sure I have my smell goods, candles, things of that nature, and things on the wall. Even the, the everything is intentional. Even the way that I lay out my toys. Do um do people pay you to permanently convert spaces into dungeon? That's okay. something that we want to get into. So yeah, I might, well, we haven't ask. actually uh, we have, haven't actually done that yet. But. I got a basement underneath my shop. So yeah, man. Yo, be, like dope. Just Anybody ever watch um, How to Build a Sex Room? Yes. I was going to yes. ask about yes. that. Yes. Yes. So, so notice how be, the, the, some of those spaces is dope. Be honest, yeah, yo. Fire, That's yep. kind of like how we are, but it's a little bit better because, you know, we got, we black. So we put a little They're all to rich, it. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. They yeah, got yeah, all the extra shit. The shit I seen being converted in the first place was very, it wasn't New York. Right. Yep. I'm saying yeah, they yeah. had mad square footage and that's the thing that's kind of foreign to us here. Yeah, we put a lot of money inside dungeons. So. Okay. So what do you mm -hmm. do with the extra, like, you say you're going to an Airbnb. When you guys are done, what do you do? Just throw away the stuff or you put it in a box? Nah, we like, pack hey. it up. Like we got some stuff that like are that we can take from place to place. You know what I mean? Like okay. we we've learned to be a little bit smarter. So instead of buying like we'll have, we'll mix up some real candles with like some of the electric candles so that we can just pack those up and take them to the next space and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I always recommend, you know, believe it or not, to set the uh, create an ambiance before you start to have sex. It really like does like 50% of the work for you. You make a woman feel comfortable. A lot of times, niggas, you know, people in general just invite women over and they barely got a clean washcloth or soap mm. or, you know what I'm saying? I in the bathtub. It's like, say, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga. Nah, that, that's what brought it home yeah, for me. I yeah. appreciate Word. you. But you feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah, now she's like, oh, I, I yeah, want to yeah, give him yeah. some pussy, but like, uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I can't take shit. a shower here. Like, this shit is dirty. Yeah. So I got yeah. a question for the people at home. If they want to start their sex dungeon, or at least just have something in a room just to make ladies feel more comfortable. Or men, what should they put in a room or start off decorating? With? Well, first and foremost, it's, clean it. You yeah. could go. You never go wrong with like actually cleaning it and be super yeah. thorough and attentive about your cleaning. Um, smells like in addition to the lighting, like mm -hmm. you could go on Amazon for like 10, 20 bucks if that. You get a couple light bulbs and change the lighting on, in the room. In addition mm -hmm. to that, like light a few candles. You know, it's very simple. You know okay. what I mean? You don't got to go super hard. Is it essentially just stimulating multiple senses? Yeah, you want it to. So that means mm. is, there, is there music there too? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. All of them. All of the senses. You guys answered the questions already. <laughs> are, are you familiar with um the Dungeon Family? No. Okay. <laughs> right. I was going to ask you, is Sexy Red appropriate? The, and um, not honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't really care for sexy red, but if I knew the person that I was trying to, you know, play with or whatever is into sexy red, I would do it. Um, somebody recently tested me with wanting to change my playlist because my playlist is super intentional. I take hours. I have quite a few of them, mm -hmm. but somebody actually listened to metal during one of their um, metal. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and at Bruh! first, <laughs> yeah. I want to try that. Yeah. I want to try that. And at first, I was like, I don't know, because I'm a sensualist, so you know, I got like gentlemen on there and shit, you yeah. know, a little neo this and blah, okay. blah 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 or whatever but i actually listened to it and i was like yo when i really thought about what my intention was was to make her feel good i was like i could do it if and and, and i could imagine 
how hard it was for her to even ask me that because as a black man we don't really generally gravitate towards metal and shit like that mm. but I'm the idea that I was willing to kill my mom <laughs> <laughs> kill my dad yeah yeah is yeah. that more like so, punk or metal that's that's that's, 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 that's rock. rock metal you just got to yeah. you just got to sing it hard I'm gonna kill my mom. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but it was dope, yo. She has, yo. She put me on to some shit. I, you know, what I, mean? I ain't gonna put she, it in my general. Um, she's the one playlist. that wanted the medal. Yeah, she wanted the medal. Okay. That's crazy. Did you give her the medal? Yeah, we played it. You should just give her the medal. That's my nigga, man. A hey, price. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> student. Yeah. Can't get pregnant, brother. Facts. <laughs> All right. Prior to us um, potting here, we were talking about something with Art who left, which is somebody else who um, tasted their nut. You said you tasted Yo. their nut <laughs> Oh, that was supposed to be Shit. off camera? That was Yo. off camera. That was off camera. That was off camera. Right, we can edit, we we can edit that, that out. No, no, no. You can edit that All right. I'm over for a good one. Where's the clip <laughs> on? Yeah, that's going to get clip clipped. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Where's the clip nah, 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 nah. But I that. Nah, but all jokes aside, right? Yeah. This is gonna, ain't gonna never go over smooth. Nah, <laughs> it ain't gonna go nah, over smooth. Smart, dude, but let it rip. This ain't a smoothie. But, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just get worse from here. Nah, uh, <laughs> it, again, it wasn't like an indulgement. Not that I've, I, 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 I shame anybody as young, so to speak. But I just, you know, I felt like I was. Eh. Just wanted to see what it tastes like because we asked the women to swallow nut or whatever. Where you tasted it off the middle? Off it the was middle like right I was, was done masturbating. Yeah, it was, it was like right here, a little quick. It wasn't like a. It was like. Eh, it was like eh, it was it just seemed like certain people's curiosity it was just curiosity right okay. it's a little too impulsive niggas yeah. become george too quick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean but hey. i but i've heard a lot of women like you know what i'm saying when you with your, your primary partner of course mm -hmm. you know like you come inside of them and you eat them out and then kiss them spit their name off it's called snowballing i believe yeah yeah, yeah. 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 so like you know what I mean? When you're really confident and in tune with your body and things of that nature, like that shit gets that shit really turns on women when you you know what I mean? You don't hold nothing back. For yeah, sure. I ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah. nah. I, I do it when I'm like 65 and I ain't got no other moves. Your yeah, like, nut ain't yeah, gonna be on. shooting the same. Yeah. It's gonna be, like, it's gonna be four <laughs> drops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, Go gotta, you gotta do it while you got the bulk. <laughs> nah. have, have you ever came from a flaccid dick? Yeah, excuse me? That your, happened to your me before. Dick was soft <laughs> and you soft came. And you <laughs> Um, nah, is that what happens that. in a wet dream essentially? No, no. Your dick be hard in, the, in sleep. Uh, oh, yeah. I got my um. The first few times I tried to lose my virginity, I had like mad anxiety, mm -hmm. and apparently I learned recently that that that's associated with your dick being able to get hard. If your anxiety is too high, your dick is not gonna be able to get hard. Mm -hmm. So you get stage fright. Me, I'm trying yeah. to stimulate my shit trying to get it up i'm nervous nervous like it's this? not yeah i'm jerking off well not like this yo no he said no, like this no, right no. Come on. what is this right no 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 because no. 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 i've never no. went like no this. no dwight uh, no what? What? Yeah. no yo. lord of mercy right, go yo. so it was a girl she was it was kind of not a train situation it was me and one homeboy so you lost what? your virginity in a train. Hold on. So no, like, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not. What this you're is saying. layered, right? Yes. 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 You was a second nigga. Soft. My shit soft. I'm not trying to let her see, but I'm still trying to get it in there. Mm -hmm. And I've been trying everything I can to get it hard. And the moment my shit actually got in, and it you I came it. soft. Mm -hmm. Oh. And wow. I just acted yeah. like I was like I acted like I just gave up. Like yo, it's not yeah. getting hard. I'm. She I'm know good. you didn't give up. She felt that shit. Yeah. <laughs> so you came in her. No, I had a condom. Oh shit. Oh. But so you got this bitch pregnant complex. and you ain't even give so a So how dude. how was that not a train again? It was only two of us. That ain't a train? It was a tag I mean, team. We took turns. His so. caboose got slowed <laughs> don't down. Talk about, uh, <laughs> don't talk about my caboose, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk about my caboose. Yeah, because caboose has nothing to do with the train, right? <laughs> caboose is, yeah. It's, it's the back of the train, the back I think. Of the, it's something that they, the train Because he was pulls. the second man, so he's the back wrong, of the train. Still wrong, is what I'm saying? You're still wrong? Talking about a man's caboose. Oh, okay, okay. What's a caboose? Hold on. Caboose it's is a, the butt. It's another word it's for It's the back of the train, right? What the train When a freight train is pulling something, it's in the caboose. What were you, number one or number two? That was number two. He was the caboose, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he was the butt of the train. That's crazy. I forgot to never. So we not him. pro trains in pro trains. Pro train. Nope. I mean, I'm. I've never been in one. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's my favorite, honestly. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like, people think that, like, if you were to guess, and as a heterosexual man, let me put that right there, clear. Um, I prefer, like, a, a MFM. <laughs> <laughs> right, there, that right, right there. Right there. <laughs> right there. I, re- I actually prefer an MFM because it's something about fulfilling a woman's fantasy. Say that again? It's, it's called an MFM when a female yeah, is a center of attention for both, both men. You know what I mean? So... So it's like I for them, it's called male, sir. female, male, threesome. Yeah. yeah. So okay. That, that doesn't sound like a train because a train is usually taking turns. Yeah. So that's I, I I would agree with that. I've been hearing that a lot on different pods. Like, oh, I'm not for the train. I would agree. Like, if it's a line of dudes outside waiting to fuck next, then yeah, that will technically be a train. But yeah. if everybody's engaging, and I don't mean the men engaging, if that's what they choose to, so that's fine. But for the majority um, of people, we want to not do that, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but focus on the woman. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. Nah, so. It's like it, a small gangbang when it's when it's two niggas engaged with the girl, but not engaged with each other. It's a threesome. It's a threesome. It don't got to be It's not a threesome if everybody's not engaging. you're not engaging with, with the other guy. Mm. Well, you could be feeding off of energy. No, energy no, no, no. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do We're not going to do feeding off of energy. No man energy. No man energy is running through my body, bro. Bro. No, no. If we no. if if we fucking a bitch, don't even put up your hand to give me a high five. <laughs> I don't want really to touch you during. I think all I might have gave uh, somebody a high five during like a. So let me ask you a question. Like, yes. Yes. Wrong with that. Wrong so with let me ask you a question, right? Uh-huh. So y'all all cool with having two girls in a threesome, but y'all wouldn't be fully with it with 100%. another guy. Yeah. All right. Um, Do y'all know that like women can have sex more than men, right? Yeah, I do know that, right? Yeah, I y'all know it. women can have more orgasms than men, right? Yeah, no, get we it. get that. So they need you twice the men, huh? I, and if anybody could argue, it would be a woman. She deserves to have more pleasure than a man does. Because I don't get that. You don't, don't get no, that logic. I, I got yeah. the logic. That uh-huh. is true. Yes, you're 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 hundred percent right. That's why the guy in the in the in the room but in the outside is next. Uh huh. After I'm done. After you done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 So he comes through the ropes. <laughs> Tag him in. I do have a comment you know, on trains that I. That's I, my number one. Like literally, like even though there is no sex actually taking place in the sessions that I do it for BDSM, the number one fantasy I've I've ex, I've talked to like at least eighty five percent of women is like, yo, yes. I want to be worshipped by two men. I want to be like yeah. the center of attention by two men. You know, it's you weird. Know what I mean, mean, I never hear that way. Like worship. No, I hear but like I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure they want to be like that, but they just afraid. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I just never yeah, hear the word yeah, worship. Because men are going to make up. it weird. Like they it, really want to be hoes. Yeah, I think it's more like yeah. It's more like they like, want the DP. Not, not hoes in a bad way, but like they just want to enjoy yeah. like how we enjoy two yeah. girls. They want to enjoy two men. So and not two girls. You a hoe? I'm a hoe maker. Now, um, <laughs> well, Lives a home record. I want. <laughs> we said, Danny. Now, I was about to say, I always wondered if part of the women wanting two men at the same time is like some of some of that fantasy is having the two men being able to tuck away their ego for her. That's all of it. Yeah. 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 But, I mean, that's yeah, not I mean, all of it. It's really, that's like a big part. That could be a big part of it. For you to get in the room with another man and get busy, and that's not. Like that wouldn't be your first, your go-to. You tucking away your ego because you want to please this woman and give her what she wants. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, some Kevin yeah. King shit. That's um, some- <laughs> <laughs> I don't get tired. I had a, a ex <laughs> right where I I kind of like asked her that question. I'm like, is one of your fantasies? Because it's not the first time I'm hearing about it now. Like, it's one of your fantasies, like having two guys. She's like. Um, it used to be, but That's not yes. not anymore. I'm saying hesitation. Let me ask from, you like, from the um, did yeah, you, from the did um, you get she got it done. my two guys away. But I didn't want to ask that because my heart could. You should have. For what? Niggas you broke up anyway. We just need that. to break up that way. <laughs> oh. What was you saying, my brother? I'm sorry. I forgot. But uh, yeah. I have something to say about the train experience. If you're not first, you will. When you go next, your last. Nah, when Bobby. you go, when you go next, it's. It's actually a different feeling. The pussy is warmer than when you normally first stick it in. Then she's Bullet. warmer, wetter. She's it's, just, it's, wow. it's, 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 it's like, it's like <laughs> it, oh, it would be that way because yeah, the nigga no. warmed it up for you. Yeah, she's ready. Yeah. She's but yeah, a, a woman, a woman take a little experience. longer to get fully aroused. Like he, he yeah. got the job done for you already. You get Bro, in there and that shit is different. If it's I'm already in a wet. train, yeah. if I'm in a train, I'm in the first cart. No questions asked. But you. Are aware that your balls sweat is rubbing against his balls. Sweat, yeah, right? I can't do that. Well, my bro. balls ain't rubbing against his balls, so that's all that matters to me. Yeah. Mm. If there was a nigga's ball sweat right here, would you rub your balls on it? <laughs> <laughs> if, if it Not was pussy on the other end, maybe. 
I can't say that. What about you, Biggs? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Yo, I've, I've I'm gonna skip out. Like, like DP porn, mm-hmm. and trust me, that shit is tough to have. <laughs> Like she's riding you, and then you got another nigga coming over, standing over, <laughs> standing <you>. over you, <laughs> going straight into the ass. But that's why Bro. it's a, it's a selfless act, right? Because mm-hmm. you're not putting your typical ego and pride in the situation at the time, you, and it's whatever it takes to get the job done of pleasing that. Young yeah, queen like at the it, time. it's a way to respect yeah. the person's boundaries. If your person is not heterosexual, touch my they're, leg, not, my they're not trying to touch you. <laughs> they're not trying to be intentional with it. It's nothing wrong with bumping into somebody accidentally or like mm-hmm. whatever. But it's the intentional shit that makes all the difference. Mm-mm. Like he said, all right, not. fair. You don't need no accidents. So, no, okay, so fair. M and F F M experience, right? M F Ms. M F M. Because the difference is makes it different. If you post it, because the 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 who's in the middle is who both people are engaging with. M F M. Yeah, M F M. Yeah, you can't do not a M M F. Not a M M F. Yeah, because that's the man in center. The man is getting freaked off. No man. Okay, so the M F M experience, if she. Part of her fantasy, because it's her fantasy now, yeah. right? She wants to suck two dicks at the same time. You doing it? Hell yeah. All right. Hell fucking yeah. You doing it, Biggs? Biggs I don't you, know, man. You already said I, yes. It would have to be a... No, I a, mean in the two dicks thing. in the mouth. Wait, how, how, how far yeah, can that's I go? That's what I'm saying. How far can I go? No, no, no. Go far. Let him go. Go far. How far can I go? You got the green light. This whole shit. got the green light. Green light. This whole shit. Please. Please. Thumbs up. Please. We just got the thumbs up. We just warming up. Hold on. Did Bing say he did Two dicks about yeah, no, I didn't. I said no. You say yo no. You say yo no. I said I know. No, which I've no when you said. Hold on. When you yeah, said. When upset. you when you said two yes. dicks in one mouth, I said no. No, you mm. said I don't know. No, I said you said you were correcting yourself and said I mean two dicks in one mouth, and I said yes. no. Okay. 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 I so. Don't know. Don't Let's worry, it's on the recording. Yeah, we'll see. Go run the tape back. But yes, my brother, I'm not doing that. Okay. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm doing it. All right, I'm, I'm saying it. dicks rubbing and all. I'm doing it. Nah, I'm but that's it. that. This is to, hey. this is to put away your pride, your yeah. ego to please the woman. Yeah, and I think. Um, and you know, you're still straight. Um, I genuinely so. believe that, like, if you tune in and. I, I see it as like when I'm working. That ain't got it. And, and, and ain't, how long is that going to last? You're just talking about like, like I'm not talking about it's, like that's the I, whole thing. Yo, or she's I, like, I will say, I wanna, whenever I've seen that happen in porno, like I've never said, yo. These two niggas is gay. Yeah. No, no, I just think the they're extremely like freaky. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me talking about it amongst my mans, it sounds crazy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? And planning yeah, yeah. for it is also crazy too. But like, you know what I mean? If it happened real quick, it's like, it's, it's whatever. I, but I could say this. Okay. Though. Like, I've literally been at a party and I told my my, my my partner, um, I was like, yo, point out the dudes that you're interested in. Mm-hmm. And I went up to each one of them and I was like, listen, I want to set up something for my my love. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? And I had her in the center of like five of us. Why? You know what I'm saying? Damn. Yeah, like you don't understand when you are, when you are confident. You gangster, my nigga. Stop up, 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 You. <laughs> Yeah. You Paul, oh, yeah. right? nigga got oh, raped man. by the mic. Yeah. This nigga was acting I'm gonna, like I'm your gonna, wife. I'm gonna, I'm gonna voice over <laughs> that with something else because screaming <laughs> all my mouth. You just gonna get. A, they don't know what's going on in this go room. Find a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> they heard their hairs are previous That's the out, audio bro. only broadcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh my mouth, <laughs> <laughs> my leg. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. But um, yeah, nah, that takes a different level of confidence. I I'm don't not, know. If I'm not any gonna lie though. Like, I, could, I highly respect a woman who's like onto some shit like that. She, yo, I'm telling you, she gonna. I'm not saying that's necessary. I can't judge but a woman. That she's, you're gonna be the nigga, the dude that she can't have anybody else do certain things with. Time out. How did that six sum go with you five? We end up fucking her after. Word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was good. How do you love- stomach all of this, bro? Like, the same way she stomach watching you fuck another no, she's shit. Stomaching it, but how do you stomach it? <laughs> she's the stomaching same, it. The all same right. way, yo, men will ask a woman for a threesome on Valentine's Day, Christmas, their birthday, some of the most special days in the world. They be like, yo, can I have another girl in the bedroom? But a woman dare mention that she wants to experience another man. It's they lose their mind. You love. Yeah. 
Yeah. Women cannot take what we dish out. It's crazy. But the reality is, if you did a fraction of the shit you were into for her, yeah. she would love you more. She would trust you more. You could be, you could tell her things. Y'all could communicate on levels. Like a lot of infidelity is because we have fantasies and thoughts and things that we want to do that we feel like we genuinely can't tell our partner. Mm-hmm. But if you, if she, you literally just seen her fuck some other dude, what can't she tell you, bro? What can't mm-hmm. you tell her if she's just, she just seen you smashing chicks at a party or whatever, she lining up chicks for you or whatever the case may be. Like, like, what can't you tell your girl? At the very least, y'all won't have an infidelity. I'm not saying it's perfect because pe- cheating is still mistrust or whatever. Yeah. But you won't have that problem. Like, I can't tell my girl I'm interested in this or that. Or mm-hmm. she can't tell you this, that, and third. At least you'll, you'll eliminate some of those issues. To combat your that mic, because this is... Your mic. Uh, oh, sorry. Because this is a podcast and I can't just agree with everything that right. you're saying. Right? Um, sometimes you just want to get away from your girl because... She's annoying. She's your girl. <laughs> right? But you could agree. You could have an agreement on that too. Like if you're annoying, you have an agreement on you. We need to be annoying. able to go fuck other people. <laughs> I'm not mad at that. Yeah, I have. I I like no, the type of relationship. I had like the type of relationship where my girl could make videos with another dude and send them to me. Nah, I, can't. I told these niggas that. Oh, <laughs> I can't no, no, no. That. In relationship? In yes, relationship. that's what oh, he meant. No, 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 no. No, what you meant? Sorry, sorry. I've told him that somebody who I was dealing with like I've watched their material with somebody mm-hmm. else and it was like a turn on for me yeah you know what I'm saying it could happen in a relationship I know you just gotta like really like forget that bullshit that all of these societal forget rules forget the relationship that's what it is you know yeah. it's the society cause you every dude has asked like most dudes not every dude most dudes have asked for videos when you first meet a chick you're like yo every you got dude, any every dude. You're right you, know, you wanna dude. see that shit you, you wanna see that shit give it up anything she about to say anything like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but we it, know that's not who we want after that that's not true cause that's a lot true. of the time that's not true a lot because of times you, you, end up, you, you see a bitch sucking a dick and look, in a video you gonna be like I want that yeah is that who you wanna be with why you never know it you might. never know what it turns you, out to be, bro. Her so personality could be fucking lit. Yes. And you don't even know. Yeah, I don't yeah. think. I don't you feel think me? The, the two have any relations. So you like, saying a girl could send you? She's sucking somebody else's dick. Right. You never you know like, what the personality I'm, is like, bro. Yeah. I'm about to wife this. It's, yeah, it's not gonna I, you be never know, yes, bro. Yeah, yeah, not, you yeah. never know. That, that's crazy. It's saying it immediately. No, yeah. you don't know that. He's saying like after you, you hang never out know, with bro. the shorty, you yeah. might have smashed a few times, and you realize like, yo, she's actually fucking dope. Yeah, Over that time, video is not gonna steer me in either direction. It's not yeah. gonna be like, yo, I can't make her my girl because I saw this video. Oh, it's gonna, head, stare, it's gonna stare you. You gonna want to smash the head? Not my relationship. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine you see, imagine fucking Emily, right? Imagine you and Emily is fucking talking. And fucking, she sent you videos of her riding niggas. And you like, damn, that movie's crazy. I want to try that shit. Nigga, she tried that shit on you. You end up finding out she's a dope-ass person. You're going to be like, all right, fuck this bitch. Because she ride too many niggas. I ain't going to say, fuck this bitch. I'm not going to say that. You feel me? We're going to be cool. But as far as where are we going to take it to? But the so is- so any woman so that that rules out a lot of women. That means that pretty much any woman that videoed herself with another dude is unwifeable. Yep. By that standard. Yep. Yep. No. No. He just can't see it. He's saying. No. I'm. I, listen. He's Jamaican. <laughs> this, this, no, I'm just disclaimer. saying. I mean, obviously, you want to see. So are you on? Like, are you unwifeable? Because I'm pretty sure you recorded something with somebody. Enough videos. No. no yes. He no, definitely. So what, what, what a chick could what, could a chick could be with you. <laughs> listen. Listen. Yes, they could be with me. Of course. You feel me? And I could be with them, but what I'm saying is, can you, like, after she done send you the video, she sucking dick, she swallowing cum, all of that. All I, of that stuff I could, still counts I could as still before bro. you. Until y'all in a yeah. relationship, it's before you. Yeah. you know, when y'all yeah. get together, yeah. it's before pretty yeah. much, bro. as long as it's not going on while y'all together, and you don't know it's the past. Any gal you deal with, you don't know what they did in their past. Yeah. You feel me? They could have swallowed a, a, a shitload of cum, bro. Shitload of cum. And you kissing her. I just, like I just her. found yeah. out. Like personality. I just found out, yo. This is this this is this baffles me, right? This really baffles me, and I'm an open per- motherfucker. I just found out the majority because I don't really come from head. Like I've never really done that before, right? Me like, neither. I and I've right? helped. Yeah. Like I've I've come it's in a woman's mouth because I had helping. to stop and yeah. I had to help yeah. and you know what I mean, pump it out or whatever the case may be. But I I just found out that the majority of the time women are upset that I don't come from head because they're used to making men come. Men and I'm come. Like, so I had to yeah. ask. I'm like, so every time you suck a guy dick, like he got a you nut. <laughs> I was like, oh man, like that shit is making your job harder. Every single t- nah, man, yeah, it's crazy. Yo, that's a fact. I man. never came what from. You, I never came from head like that. Man, you feel me? Like I, I have to jerk my dick. A lot to of come head. type shit. <laughs> <laughs> First time I came, it was. From do, head. do girls right? get upset with not upset, yes. but like a little frustrated? Yes. Like they get frustrated, like oh, why well, can't make you come, uh, bro? Such I'm, and I'm such. actually taking head over sex. 
Yeah. Me too. You, you come from here? Step it up. Yeah. You come you from here? You gotta hair? tell them to step it up. Every That's it. You come from here? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. But it's very difficult. A girl very really got to gotta get that pepper. It takes them she some really time, bro. She really got to know what she doing. It takes them feel some me? time. Mm. I ain't going to lie. When they about to throw up, that shit get me. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> when they about to Yo. throw up. Yeah, about to, don't throw up. But don't when they throw about up. to. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. When that shit start like bubbling and shit, it's like, bitch. <laughs> about to throw up on my shit. All right. Don't little, throw up. Little this tears, shit feel good, bro. Tears come out their eyes. When you start feeling like they fucking... In the back of their throat type uh, shit, it feel different. So you just out of like, all the shit I like, I don't bitch. like that shit because it starts no, smelling like Franks wanna... and shit. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's if bitches, bitches is eating hot dogs yeah. and shit. But she gotta be vegan, right? Yeah, nah, yeah. That, that should make it worse about. sometimes. Back of the throat, you, I might feel teeth. I don't want to feel teeth. Nah, bro, you're I, I not like gonna teeth. feel no teeth, bro. You're gonna but feel like the ridges in their throat. Yo, so I had this question asked to me today, as a matter of fact. And um, I just want to know if any of you guys indulge in this. Um, homegirl is from the Eastern Hemisphere, right? So she's adapting to Western culture, right? She was speaking to her friend that lives in the UK, right? Mm -hmm. And he told her that when he was younger, him and his friends used to watch porn together and jerk off no mind. together. Pause. Like, so uh, she was asking me genuinely today if that was like a thing that younger kids did. So I want to know, being that I've never done it, if any of you guys have ever done it. Let me go first. <laughs> <laughs> so is it like they're jerking each other off? Or no, they're no, just no, no, jerking no, no, off no, no, next no, no. to they're each other? They're watching the porn. This per person A is here, person B is over here, they're watching this TV over here. They may not even be looking at each other. That's not the goal. The goal is really not to be on some homosexual That's some like porn. young kid goal shit. To like, come? It's like, yo, you're not even supposed to be watching porn yeah, type shit. Yeah, right. The porn is here though. Yeah. So I ain't uh, never do that. Nah. I ain't never with my friends. I've watched porn with my friends when I was young because we was it turn you like you look out and make sure nobody coming, like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You I know think, what I mean? I but think I we all did that. Mean, yeah. Nope. No? Nope. Never did that. You never shit. watched. Wow. Nope. Porn is two people fucking. You've mm. watched that with somebody else <laughs> yeah, before. That's what it is. No, I've watched that with like a girl, but I've never watched that with my homies. I've done showed my homies like a video, like, oh, yo, look at this little move, but not like show my sit there and watch a whole video. So my, it got it got to be that. you in the video. No, I'm talking about like I've shown my friends like, oh, yo, look at this bitch doing this move, and I've shown them. So Binks, me, but that's what you're pulling with somebody. Thank you. Thank you. Never that's what you're pulling with somebody. His problem, he thinks the length of time matters. Binks, yes, oh, yeah, the Binks. length of time matters, <laughs> Banks. You never showed your friends like your sex tape. No. Cat. I got a, I got a close friends that I put it in for All the right. girls to see. I'm not gonna ask to be in it like y'all be asking to be. I would never. I, didn't, I don't ask you. I'm Yo, you can post anything in your close friends. No, no. Huh? no. Oh, That's okay. why I'm in jail now. That's why you're in jail. Yeah. Okay. You got to put the emoji over. Violent with man. the choker on. This thing crazy. That. I'm it's the choker that got you in jail. It's definitely the choker that got you in jail. I seen this girl. I like sucking dick in her close friends. Like she asked me to be in it. Mm -hmm. No, she asked if I wanted to be in hers. I'm like, yeah, I think you're hot. Right? <laughs> Jeez, I would have been dick. like, I want to be on the you other end of it. You, <laughs> <laughs> you pay for it? No, 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 no. Okay, nah, nah. that could have been a thing, right? So at least I got to be grateful of that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you just like randomly pop up in her close friends? No. Um, me and this girl had a one night stand before. Mm -hmm. But is it a one night stand if you spoke to the person before? It's one still a one. I, one night stand. You got to meet that person the same day. And execute the same night, right? I don't know the rules. I feel like I know you gotta fuck them the same night, but I don't know if you could keep talking to them in the council. To be one fair, we spoke the day before, mm -hmm. and then everything happened the following. Day. Didn't count. That's not a and one then, night that don't count. That don't count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. don't count. So, you said everything, everything happened, happened, happened the next day. But I just want to say I didn't really know her that well. Is what I was trying to. But you I never fucked her again, right? Nope. Just one. I feel like that's a one night stand. No, that don't bro. count, bro. Y'all gotta meet the same day. Same yeah, no, technically yes, technically yes. Who made that rule? Whatever the step under that is is what that is. Okay. Forty eight. Hours, whatever the fuck, nigga. First forty-eight, then, man. First yeah. forty-eight. <laughs> yeah. That's first forty-eight. That's first forty-eight. Yeah. That's first forty-eight. Yeah. 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 What? <laughs> no more one night stands. First forty-eight. Like like yeah, like first forty-eight. <laughs> first forty-eight. That joke. Lie, but okay. Uh, yeah. Yo, you know what I noticed is a fucked up situation. So you see how, like, say if you're not acting man enough to your gal, right? She'll be like, "What does that oh, mean?" I, get, I don't know, whatever. She'll be like, oh, well, you know, my dad showed me what a man is supposed to be like type shit, right? Okay. But if you bring to a female like, yo, I, I want you to be more of a woman figure like my mom, a bitch would be like, 
I ain't your damn mother. Like, yeah, that's true. Like, where the fuck you get that, that logic from? That's true. Yeah. Like, how does that work out? Like, why am I supposed to be like it's, your dad, called, but you can't called, be like my mom? It's called um, a double standard. It's like you have <laughs> Yo, one standard, but you two of them at the same much, time. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, they coexist with each other. Because they yeah, looking that makes for the, the protection and all that, and the security. No, nah, fuck you. that. Call your dad. <laughs> right? Call right. your dad. Yeah, but when you step in, you're daddy now. No, so why she not mommy? Fact. Fuck well, you, you looking for her for the nurturing, right? Yeah. That's like, what it is. Right. That's why you with shorty. That's why she got. I'm looking for all the shit my mom do. You okay. feel me? Um, I nah. Feel like, I'm looking for like. the shit my mom don't do. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't know about that. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. 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 But I, get, I get your point that for sure, good. though. That was I get good. your point. That was good. Um, wow. Question If you guys are in relationships, right, would you be mad if your girlfriend. Or a significant other is what I like to call whole adjacent. Like used to be a whole, like reformed hoe. So adjacent is like they're not a hoe themselves, but their oh, friend group oh, is full of hoes, right? Oh, mm. I, so would, oh. Would, would that be a problem? Yes, there's so much, so much yeah. peer pressure you can escape yeah, from. Yeah, that's a, if y'all on like a trip together and it's like prolonged, y'all there for like six days. Yeah, about a six day. No, so crack, fucking suck a crack. dick. But do you trust Damn. your girl? Yeah, if if she's but not whole adjacent, I'm gonna trust her. If she's whole adjacent, I'm gonna be a little but worried. But her friends could get her to do a lot of yeah, shit, bro. Though. They have I get it. The yeah. friends has a stronger influence yeah. than you. Yeah. You Way gotta more be. Than you you yeah. gotta be strong though. Cause you gotta think As about it. <laughs> nah, cause you, you gotta, gotta think about it. She telling her friend. All the shit you don't do that's and how you not doing this and doing that. Yo, listen, so that's her excuse to get it? her yeah. to do that shit. <laughs> the only way. Yeah, your man don't eat your pussy. Right, right, yeah, right, exactly. Right, right, right. He don't eat your ass. Let him eat your ass. The only yeah. way to that's get over crazy, that. That's crazy, bro. To go fuck something else while she on her trip, bro. Yeah, it's, but it's it's take your mind off that, it. though. Take the your mind off different. of it, bro. Is it? <laughs> take man, your mind off of it. The man pain is different. Yeah, it is. That's a fact. Y'all niggas is butt. You know what fucked up my whole perspective of life? Fucking um, dancingbear.com. Y'all ever watch that shit? Yes. Yeah. Yo. Yeah. 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 Oh, I was going to do that shit in the dungeon. You was on dancingbear.com? No, I wasn't. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I was a, I, it was a phase where I would like only watch that shit. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I went to that. Yo, I, went to that I love phase. the idea of seeing <laughs> running over and do crazy shit. Dancing around. What is that? What is that? He's dancing around. Around fucking, he's like at bachelorette parties he has and shit a like beer that. Ma- right? Mascot head. It's like a yeah. ballroom full of bitches, yes. and he's just getting his dick sucked by every bitch in there. It's not like every girl. Well, party. not every girl. He's just the, picked, the mystery, the, the exciting bitches. part is to figure out who's gonna suck dick. Exactly. You know what I mean? I hope he chooses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're real shit. And they always start like they don't want to do it. They be like. <laughs> yeah, and then and one bitch just starts going crazy, crazy, and then the whole room wants yeah. to go crazy on this one nigga, bro. Yeah. Sometimes it'd be like and two or three of them. He has on a mask, bro. He's naked. He has on a bed, head, and a yeah, cock yeah. ring. Yes, that's bro. It. They be fucking these bitches, getting their dick sucked, all of that. I'm not gonna lie, just that's random. The, can, that's, can can any of uh, y'all do that? That's the type of part I want to do. Like that. That's what I want to do. He be the person. Be the how? Be the bear. I would definitely try some shit like that. What? I need a body for the bear because they 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 be kind of in shape though. All right, I'm a real bear. I'm a real bear. So look, let's throw let's throw the body on y'all. Can y'all do it? I could do it without the body. I would I would love to experience something like that. Um, I mean I've had great experiences minus needing a dance for it, but yeah. I, I low key, I was telling her the other day, I was like, yo, if it was one thing, I would work out and, and dance for a little while. I really, I was watching, what's that show, man? Magic Mike. Not that one. Oh. Um, the All the Queens Men. Yeah, I've seen that shit too. That's you know true. what I'm saying? I was like, yo, them niggas get it in. You know what I mean? So I would love to learn how to dance like that. Okay. okay. All right, man. Um, dance New Year's resolution is coming up. Yeah. Man, we <laughs> I'm going to start at December, we, we though, right? We spoke about the gym yeah. the past three episodes, so nice. I got to try something. Yeah. Y'all yeah, can gonna come be a to the gym with me. Uh, you look like you lifting the whole gym. But Nerd. what I don't, what Nigga I don't picking believe, picking up the gym and walking in. <laughs> where I'm torn at, is, I, I mean, I hear this a lot. They prefer, they don't really prefer the like super muscular bodies, like they say. Like they, it's been studies showing that, like you show a woman a like a dad bod versus like a super fit bod, mm. she gonna choose like the dad bod. Yeah, I'm versus. daddy for real. But I yeah. think, <laughs> I, <Daddy>. yeah. <laughs> I think I was talking to my best friend. I was like, yo, I think that's because they think the dad bod is gonna be more nicer. Cause a lot of times women associate like the really fit bodies with like you know assholes and like conceited mm. dudes and shit like that. Oh. So. Or is that like where 
I heard there's some shit called boyfriend dick. Yeah, yeah, right? I've seen that too. Yeah. Oh, you seen yeah. it? Yeah, I've seen okay, that. Okay, cool. So boyfriend dick is not the biggest of dicks. It's five point three inches. What? Five, Yo, to, five to six inches. Somebody I think. said that to me. Or five to seven, one of them. That's crazy. Five, five yeah, to six. Not, yeah, five to six or some shit so like that. So it's not too small or not too big, some shit like right. that. Right. So it's like when um the when they want this OD experience, that's when they step out to get the nine, ten inches or some shit like that. But, the but best, it's not something they could commit to every the day. The boyfriend dick is a dick they could take so, every day. Not well. That's true too. But I, I've learned that the best experiences that women have have come from like average size dicks. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like it's it's something about a dude that get real intentional when he know he not gonna be hitting the back or whatever. So he got to figure out the front more or mm. eat better pussy or you know do more foreplay shit or just be more in tune. Hit in the general. fuck out that middle, like fuck that middle up. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. a lot of times when you like <laughs> like I, I, I I'm you know I, I'm pretty blessed, but like I'm not like humongous, no pole, whatever. But <laughs> <laughs> you know I don't even know how to I, say I, that I, shit I, in a room full of guys. But the kidding. point is, is that like I, I could imagine that a lot of dudes with really big dicks. <laughs> They just rely on that shit, like yeah, you know. What but I'm that's what I've been hearing. You hear like um, big dick niggas a lot. That's what I. I don't know if that's true. They be saying like they don't know what they doing with it. Yeah, yeah. They don't, don't know how to use that. it. What? Like nah, what they never say that. though is if you a nigga that you. do, do know, know how to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I never hear that. Yeah, part, yeah, 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 yeah. Like nah, that nigga. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's you how to fucking <laughs> yeah. slip yeah, the fuck out that. You will never hear that story. You will never hear that story. Bigs, I was in high school. What? You feel Somebody me? I think I was. A, I think I was. I was a sophomore. <laughs> she was a senior. You yeah. feel me? And I was trying. I was ripping out this bitch hole. But meanwhile, she's on the bed, <laughs> <laughs> dead silent, bro, on the phone type shit. Word. Nigga, crush my spirit. <laughs> nigga, she made me feel like I had the smallest Yo, dick in the world. Yo, she was on the phone. Bro. She was on the phone. Yo. Silent, bro. Though. She was silent, bro. Who she Yo. was talking to, bro? I don't know who. Maybe yeah. big dick nigga. Maybe that nigga. You but feel me? You feel like she's trying to prove a point? I don't know, bro. But the next day when we went to school, she was like, yo, you got a big dick. You just don't know how to use it. Word. Mm. Word. I'd have been like, yo, thank you so much for that feedback. I appreciate it. Know what I'm saying? Because that's a, a review I could take. Bro, I was trying to call my bigger brother like, yo, come deal with this. <laughs> no, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. 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 I'm, I'm, wait. I'm your bigger brother. I'm the last one. Wait. Boy. I felt like if he's my bigger brother, he probably got a bigger dick. All right, yo. Uh, what? What? I understand what? the logic. Why'd that's you get no. that logic? No, no that's Daddy, not a business. Daddy, you way about your bro. But no. in high school. But think about yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it a concept. She's dealing with grown niggas. It don't matter. I was a sophomore. It don't matter. It don't matter. Let me ask you, what's the worst review? You got a big dick, but you don't know how to use it, or you got a small dick, but you know how to use that shit. You got a big dick, but you don't know how to use it. That's the always, bad review. You can always learn how to use it, but you can't. Yeah. I'm gonna take grow the, your, I'm gonna take the first one. Still. You can't grow your dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah you so. can't really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, but you, you know how to use it, so you yes, good. Yes, you can, nigga. You could go to the. You could go get a DDL. <laughs> a DDL. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I get it. Dominican dick lift. <laughs> what? <laughs> dick lift. Yo, a Dominican what? dick lift. They about to have them shits though. Just know. So yo, so so talking about reviews, y'all don't like debrief after sex. I do. Like um, talk about nah, it. Like, I do. Nah. All right, so I'm gonna teach y'all something real quick, right? So I Let's always ask three questions after every session that I do, and that's whether I'm doing a BDSM session or I'm having sex with you know my wife. Mm -hmm. And the questions go like this: like, What was your favorite parts of the session? Mm -hmm. What were they? Were there any least favorite parts of the session, and what you would want more of if we would ever play again? Okay. How, how much time the, has elapsed since the question asking? Um, Cause you're like, uh, well, uh, you you might you might want to do this after a shower. You okay, might want to do this okay, after you chill. Okay, you smoke okay. a blunt. After you know what I'm saying? Okay. Whatever. It's questions. important because that like you you'll learn like it's a cheat code, bro. Like you don't we don't have to figure shit out. We just gotta ask the women mm -hmm. what they enjoy mm -hmm. and create a safe space for them to be able to speak that. Because I always get that they want to talk like that more, but men get sensitive. You um, you could tell a dude like a hundred things you love that he did. The one thing you tell him that you didn't like, and oh. it's like. He going, oh, go fuck My some heart. other nigga then. Uh, <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, uh, you know, you know. some other nigga. <laughs> I'm going to try that shit that you told me. Yeah. But no, go but real talk. Yeah, we want to assume that it's we know important. everything. It's important. Yeah. To, creating a safe space is letting her know like, yo, you know what I mean? I, I'm open to, you know, constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. This is a safe space for you to express yourself. I don't want you to think that, you know what I mean? It's going, whatever. I'm only going to use that information to better our experience. Mm -hmm. What's those three questions again? 
what was your favorite parts. Mm -hmm. So it could be a list of things. It could be one thing. It could be a hundred things, right? right? And it's important to try to create a list, right? Mm -hmm. The second one, was there any least favorite part or anything that didn't serve you, anything that didn't do anything for you? Because mm -hmm. okay. a lot of times we got that one-two move mm -hmm. and it's like, I don't really give a fuck about that but shit. That shit yeah. feel good yeah, to you? Yeah, like it feel good to you. Yeah. And then the last thing is what you will want more of in the future, which is something you wish I did a little bit more okay. of. Okay, suppose her three answers are, I really liked when you ate my ass. Mm -hmm. The part when you was fucking me, I didn't really like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't really want to do this anymore. Damn, that's <laughs> somebody. That that's it. Hurt. That's <laughs> the crush right there. Oh, that's that's part part part. Hey, the part. That's third one is. That, that, was, good, man. that was good. That was that good. That last, the last one is the part of it that made me think that you're not compatible. <laughs> That's what you gotta okay, add. If, if she was like, if she was on something a, like, but I want to try it again, that's a whole different yeah, level the, of answer. Yeah, it's a but if she said thing. I don't want to do it again, yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta ask Damn. the fourth question, like, yo, what I did I wrong? Do this <laughs> Cause you can't just leave Yo, with that. The fourth question is when you leaving. Yeah. Like, Damn. What is she? The third answer is more eating ass. Damn. You that's that's where you lost you me. You ate my ass. Second answer, I didn't like the sex. Third answer, <laughs> eat my ass more. That mean yeah. you a professional ass eater. You a butt munch. Damn. Yeah, so you, girl. You, you should expand on like the sex part. Like what what, what about the sex that you didn't gotcha. enjoy? Tap in. So another okay. thing I learned recently, I, I ended on this one, is when you're asking for feedback during sex, I like um, these two questions. Um, you like that? No, don't. You don't like that, baby? That's actually the worst. That's actually no, the worst. That's answer. Price, that's, that's price that's, line right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually the worst that's question. What, what, what does a person answer. say that if they truly don't want something to be switched up? So yeah. I've learned you ask either softer, fast. I mean softer. Um, softer, harder, or faster, faster slower. slower. Okay. Those two, th those, those four things. I use those. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to do you want it slower, want. faster, or softer, harder? Because if you ask somebody if you like something, they don't want to crush you in the middle, and you don't want to have a whole long dialogue. Like, I, I actually would like it if you just moved to little <laughs> little. Like, nobody's trying to do that. So she's just gonna be like, Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so, yeah like, yeah, you yeah. never really gonna get the true, true. So if you give her those options, then you could. It, it's something about when you give a person exactly what they want. Mm. That's when the intentionality comes into play. And that's okay. actually one of my kinks. I always tell people request shit for me. Okay. What about yeah. the um, you slut ass bitch shit? Like, she should I be saying that if she likes it? Okay. And you what's can ask her what's a hard use? limit for her as far as words. You like if she's like one thing that I do right when before I, I work with a client is I give them a, a BDSM quiz and I'll send you guys a link so you guys could take it and post your own results right. Okay. And I, I'll go over each one of those results with them and I, and one of the results is a degrady. So whenever I see somebody, a degraded, somebody that's, that enjoys degradation is somebody that enjoys dirty talk. Mm -hmm. But dirty talk doesn't only refer to like being calling a dirty little slut. It could be good girl, I'm proud of you, I love this pussy, anything. Mm -hmm. They just want to mm -hmm. hear you verbalize your your excitement for that moment. Okay. So like when you go through that quiz, you'll learn a lot about a person and you'll be able to like really pl plug in the things that they enjoy. Okay. Question, you ever give a golden shower? In the shower, yeah. But not like officially. I peed on. I peed on her. And she didn't even realize that. I was just sitting oh, back. That's what he <laughs> you know, did. That's, that's what I do. Sneak. I do that. In the shower I feel like everybody time. do that to yeah. some degree. No. Yeah. But I would love to do it like officially. But the way people normally do it when you plan for it is you drink a lot of water the day before, mm. and you just you know you try to clear out. What as about much as you having can. it on done to you? I would be open to it. Yeah. But again, I would want them to drink a lot of water, not a lot of Hennessy. But I feel like I, I feel like I feel like if she into degrading herself, you gotta drink Hennessy, bro. You gotta, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel me? Go, go piece of shit. You <laughs> piece of shit. Um, piece of shit is crazy. <laughs> question, right? Um, so a lot of this seems very calculated, right? Mm -hmm. Is there a thing where any of it is left up to an element of mystery? Absolutely. So one thing that I get asked a lot is like, yo, like, how do you go to have regular sex after doing kinky shit? And I'm like, bro, regular sex happens most of the time. time right? It's just those intentional mm. times where I'm like, yo, we're going to go to the dungeon tonight or I'm you going to come in the it. room and we're yeah. going to up it. Because yeah. a lot of times we life be life and everybody don't got energy at the end of the mm -hmm. night to do all this wild shit. What I do recommend is like get familiar with at least a vibrator that you can put on her clip while you're fucking her. Mm -hmm. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's the simple shit that you could do almost every time, but yeah. it's not necessary. Right. But um, but yeah, like, I forgot the question. <laughs> nah, you, you answered it for the most part. But what I realized I need to do, like, if you a single person now, you got to have like multiple vibrators. You feel me? If you don't want to violate and use like the same toys. Or well, you can sanitize TV, them and use condoms, but it would be no it would girl be ideal. wants to hear that you use that on somebody else before. And that's true. true too. So if that's a boundary for her, then you should get a new vibrator for her. I'm gonna ask, like, is this a boundary for you? I used this on a bitch three weeks ago. 
I cleaned it though. I'm saying, she's not. But she you can, you can clean it. I put what you vibrators on my like. condoms. I put vibrate. I, I put condoms on my vibrators. Excuse okay, me. got you. So that's one way to do it. Or you can actually, yeah, you, it's what thirty bucks, and now you got something that you guys can help you, you. you guys can use. Yeah, yeah, yeah for tell sure. Her, tell her you use a condom with it every time. Okay. So that got way it, she won't it, feel. Furthermore, yeah. about it. Just be like, I just got the shit, and I <laughs> haven't tried. I threw away the box. Nah, today. don't lie, don't lie. But truth, truth be told, like for thirty dollars, it's not a bad investment. You spent thirty dollars on what? You spent thirty dollars on a vibrator. It's not a bad investment. You spent three hundred dollars on dinner. I was, yeah. Mm. Is it okay for pay that ten percent? Is it okay for your for your girl to use a toy mm. every time y'all have sex? If, if that's a if thing, she want to, if, if it's within your energy, like I said, if if you got the energy for her to go grid it or whatever, set it up, like that's fine. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's it should it should take away. It should only add value to the experience. Some women, yeah, some but women there's I hate to use the word every time. There's no but nobody's going to say every single time. Nah, if somebody it, like if a woman only really comes off a of clitoral stimulation mm-hmm. and the, the vibrate might be her thing. You're not yeah. about to yeah. eat no pussy yeah. that night. You just want to <laughs> fuck. That's or cool. most of those nights, mm-hmm. then she's gonna use that vibrator. Every Get in time. the draw. That's yeah, cool. you gotta let it rock, or you a hating ass nigga. <laughs> you feel me? So I get that. Yeah. I nah, but um, all right, cool. So we are gonna um, use you as much as you can, as we can while you're here, right? Because <clears throat> it's like a free consultation, right? Facts. Okay. What recommendation do you have for guys that's experiencing like ED and shit? So Damn, that I can't, I can't really give too okay. much. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I can't Dwight. give too much uh, like advice on that because I'm not a doctor. It's but right. I would I would look at other ways to stimulate the brain because the biggest sexual organ that we have is the brain. So like learning different things that might turn them on, getting familiar with different kinks. And that's why I always recommend like the BDSM quiz because mm-hmm. it's going to force you to have conversations about things you probably didn't even think about before or things you were thinking about but you've been afraid to speak about. Mm-hmm. So a lot of the times like we enjoy novelty, we like new things, we like excitement mm-hmm. and things of that nature. And a lot and we we could experience ED in relationships, but it's not like medically related. It's anxiety related, gotcha, like right. I, like you mentioned earlier. Right. Like sometimes mm-hmm. the anxiety or life be life and stress is happening. Things are going on, and now because it's not referred to as ED when it comes to women, but it happens to women a lot. Mm-hmm. If life is life and for her too, guess what? She's not, she's not getting with not, yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So being intentional about how Damn. you go about having sex is super important. People think that it's supposed to just happen randomly, and it can. Mm-hmm. We love those days where it's a, you know what I mean, it's a little quickie or even yeah. a longie or whatever the case may be, but. Understand when you first like as a single man, right? When you know or trying to smash a girl, you're you're being intentional about her time. She's now when she knows she's about to hang out with you, she already cleared two, three hours, even the whole night for you. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So her mindset is there. She already took a shower. She already freshened shaved. up. She already shaved. Mm-hmm. She already did all of these things to put herself into that mental frame of being able to fuck. But mm-hmm. when you pull up on your girl that you've been with for years and y'all live in the same house and you just think she's supposed to be ready. You don't have no t- that she, time, really. she don't, She's not in that mindset. She mm-hmm. just got out of a meeting. She just put the kids to bed, just finished cooking, cleaning, whatever the case may be. And now you expect her to be like ready. But yes. mind you, when you were single or when you was first getting with her, you, you was asking her for nudes. You was getting her mentally stimulated. Y'all was exciting all day like a lot now the conversations via text is like i'm on my way home did you grab this did you grab that Mm. but when you were single it was like yo what you wearing or let me send me a picture like that thirstiness is good when it's from coming from somebody you actually enjoy speaking to when you it's not cool when you being thirsty to a chick that has no interest in you but if it's if it's a vibe and you thirsty like yo i want to see what you're wearing da 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 they like that shit and it stimulates them throughout the day so by the time you meet with them later on you know that mental stimulation is there, so just try, trying to figure out different things. Nah, that's what's up. That's so funny. stay single. Funny you, <laughs> you mentioned that. Stay because single. I, 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 I feel like most people think like if you don't get hard or something like that, it's something based on your like your dick is not working. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, right. Mm-hmm. But chances are, unless it's like something physically wrong yeah, down yeah, there, yeah, yeah, it's your brain. It's your brain. You know what I'm saying? Too much in your head. Yeah, you know what I'm saying like because think about it. If you want to last longer sometimes, mm-hmm. you think about something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To take your mind off the pussy. Something that would typically so, make your dick soft. So, right. So one thing that I would, like if it's not medically related, again, I'm not a doctor, so I can't give advice if it's like you got something going wrong. Yeah. But if you're a naturally um, uh, uh, a healthy you know, man, um, one thing that does help is edging. 
And that's basically like when you're masturbating, instead of coming right away, you slow down when you're about to get to that point of like no return. And mm. you do that quite a few times to get familiar with that that yep. that, that area. Mm. And what that do, it'll get you build um, your tolerance. For it'll it. build your tolerance for it. And it'll also get you'll also get to the point where you can start having orgasms without the ejaculation. And that's when you give it that demon dick. Because if you've yeah. ever been fucking and you came and you stayed hard, yeah, yeah bro, that's like championship dick right yeah. there. And if you could make that Champion happen on a regular <laughs> I'm down, I'm down, I was it's just thinking back. It's called Nemo. What non ejaculatory male orgasm? Yeah. Word. Mm -hmm. Where the Nemo. fuck did that you come from? You fucking yeah. smart ass. What nigga. the fuck? Yeah, yeah. You just, I, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I've never heard about nothing without nothing. Yeah, it can happen. <laughs> it's happened to me a few times, but I'm learning. I, like this year is my like journey to to explore my body even more yeah. and and get even more familiar with that because it's an amazing feeling when you're able to nut and stay hard, bro. Like yeah, that you, feeling of yeah. ejaculation is not there, and you could just nut and just mm -hmm. go yeah, right that back. shit happened to me before, yeah. man. You know how you fix ED. You drink the sea moss, duh. Okay, sea moss. Sea moss. Sea moss. Sea moss. All right, cool. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But um, all right, cool. I just thought like nothing is just like, pow. Oh wait, man. sorry, it's not an ejaculatory, multiple orgasm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's another thing. We can have multiple orgasms. That's, that's true. That's what I learned. But we gotta train for that. Yeah, yeah like, like anything, you work out. Yeah. So that's why we stay in the gym. Training. Yeah. That's what I learned with somebody. I'm not about to. Yo, promote. speaking of training though. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Um, if y'all want to get back in the gym, start with y'all legs. Facts. Yeah, right. shit niggas, don't, yeah. niggas don't right. do right. legs, bro. That shit boosts your testosterone. And yo, I was, yo, I was about to say, start with your legs. if you really want to get good in bed, start with your legs, yes. bro. It produces the most testosterone. Correct. And mm. then when you bust a nut, you will feel that shit. Mm. You feel right. it all through your legs. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't got no legs now, so I'm about to start working <laughs> on my legs. All right. <laughs> That's what's up. Um, believe it or not, as much as we talk about sex here, Sometimes we veer off into completely random things. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you ever watched this before. So I had a random question for y'all niggas, right? <clears throat> Would you, as a parent, put yourself in a parent shoes right now? Right. Would you have a problem if you had a, a son and you left them with your friend and your friend told them that Santa wasn't real? Oh, mm. shit. Yeah. If you, if you were telling them that Santa I would, was real. I would real. have a problem. Cause that's one. I feel like as an adult, you got to be conscious about that of that when you're around somebody's kids. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, you got to know what they're telling their kids. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. stick with that. But you, you also got to take accountability if you didn't make it clear that that's something. You know what I'm Listen, saying? That, that if you. I, if I told kid. my kid that Batman is real, don't come in my house and tell him that's that Batman right, 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 real. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking up. We don't, yeah. We don't play that yeah. shit. Bro. Facts. So what I heard with that is is like, adults. Some of them are so eager to force our routine realistic life upon kids and ruin their imagination from mm -hmm. early mm -hmm. and not let them experience the things that we possibly got to experience early yeah you know what i'm saying so it's like what's the perfect balance between that's some of some bitter adult it is yeah. it is because yeah. you just yeah. like y'all just gonna ruin your shit for no reason yeah that's some whack shit yeah, yeah, yeah. that's Your when you gotta dress up as um santa claus and beat the shit out of <laughs> kids. you feel me like yeah santa's real uh, nah for sure but um, I was food shopping the other day and he was playing like Mad Christmas Carols and shit like that. I was kind of like feeling the spirit again. But I know overall we all don't believe in holidays no more. I just want to say fuck y'all for that. because <laughs> That's not fair, man. Like in the 90s, this shit was a completely different feeling. It felt like, mm. you know what I'm saying? You Thanksgiving yeah. felt better You mean when Christmas. we was kids? Okay. To me. What you said? You mean when we was kids? Is that is it based because we was getting shit? You mean, we you mean, yeah. you mean yeah. when we didn't have no bills? Yeah, that's true. And you ain't the one buying everything. <laughs> Damn. Because, all right. So my perception from the outside of that, being that I wasn't that person at that time, it seemed to me like even those people who were doing that enjoyed it more than now. Mm hmm very yeah. true like and now, parents I've had then enjoyed it more than that and I'm not saying this this is no cap the best the best Christmas my experience was with her um, and that was the first time I've ever really celebrated Christmas on that level like I, I grew up in a Christian household she didn't my grandmother didn't celebrate no holidays oh, shit. and it I actually we do fucked celebrate Christmas I, well, I was Pentecostal, so she would shut uh, down uh, everything. Uh, oh, okay. How everything. Yeah. Even birthdays. It's like, like was yeah. 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 Was, She would say happy birthday, but that was it. Damn. But like, and it kind of fucked up relationships moving forward as I became an adult because everybody I would get, get with, they took 
Christmas mad all serious shit, Thanksgiving, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of these different yeah, things last year. And I'm like, yo, I celebrate you every day. Like, I ain't trying to hear that shit. It's Christmas bitch, yeah, with my girls. But she, she, she brought a lot of intentional gifts. Like, and that shit felt really good. I understood the difference. It wasn't like, oh, just buy me a pair of socks or cologne. It mm-hmm, was like mm-hmm. she really paid attention to what I enjoy, what mm-hmm. I love, and got a whole bunch of gifts around it. And I, that that kind of like uh-huh. gave you that spirit. Yeah, it gave me that. Gave me that spirit. Tired so of the looking. socks and cologne. Not yeah. man, the right cologne though. Right cologne. You can, yeah, cologne. Yeah, Let's yeah, clap it up for his wife. Yeah, facts, facts. Let's go. Get some shit to him, man. You need some wifeies like that. For him. <laughs> Yo, is 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 like how they have friends given? Is friends miss a thing? Somebody asked me. Let's make friends it. Miss. Let's make one. Mm. Yeah, but I'm not doing it in my crib no more. It's just a holiday party. <laughs> you just you gotta, gotta let out though? your car, bro. No, no, no. no. Do an Airbnb. I yo. did a Friendsgiving um, two weeks ago. My friend crashed my car. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Just don't let out your car, nigga. <laughs> no, no, no. But aside from that, my, maybe that's why my child not working right now. She probably turned that shit off. <laughs> but um, she was she made a complaint. Oh, okay. well, she made a complaint to your shit? Yeah. That's whack. No, the neighbor made a complaint and she conveyed it to me. Damn. We could get a, we could get a B&B, bro. Yeah. Fact, I would hate to bring my, my friend's car after crashing it. He yo, so you didn't bring it back? Yo, that, <laughs> I couldn't that, that's, bring it back. That, that's a whole nigga had to story, beg for that. Super, but, you feel me, but, yo, uh, so I got a question because we're not going to know the elephant in the room. What the fuck is this on the table? What? What's so that? it's actually one of my um, that's one of my crazy. props. <laughs> you got to watch that shit whip out and it's a whip. Uh, it's not. <laughs> it's an actual sword. Oh, oh, so shit. you can like it's you can cut people with that. that you can touch. Hey yo! Uh, all right, for the, for the audio experience, he's talking about the sword. <laughs> you can touch it, you whip. A real sword. Is that like sharp? Yeah, we film it. Oh, yo, is that, is that sharp? It, is mm. that like some? No, it's not sharp. But damn, that's sharp. It ain't sharp. Please, 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 please grab it. Nah, I, 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 I want to see it too. No. So I got a question. Yeah. In a BDSM session, how would you use this on a woman? Yo, I like that question. That's so a really good question, away, right? Nah. <laughs> I would use it for temperature play. So metal oh. metal is good for conducting different forms of temperature. So okay. I can make it warm, I can make it cold, and um I can all use also use it with electric play. So I brought my electric kits to show you guys today. Oh, because you put been, it on this? I, I would put the I would turn the electric kit on and then she would feel the electrical current go through the sword. Oh, wow. It's so yeah. funny that they have to be signed up to Patreon <laughs> to see this actually take place. But also, um, is it's, it's, it's the, it's the aesthetic of it. A lot of the times, you so know. It's cool as fuck. Yeah, arousal was built. One of the keys to arousal was blood flow, right? Mm-hmm. So when you, huh? No, that was just me. <laughs> you could pass. Yeah, but. um. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's not sharp. <laughs> Damn. Jesus. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so he's like, my car, not my leg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. It's not like in the movies, nigga. Yo, that's crazy. Hey, niggas got to yeah. put the workers' car. Yeah, nah, but yeah. Funny. Fucking amputee fucking with y'all niggas. <laughs> so so knife play is something that's like super popular in, okay. in BDSM. Okay. And I would use it in that in that context. Um to be clear, some people do use sharp knives, but all of my knives are incredibly dull and, mm-hmm. and even my, my sword as well, because I don't need something to actually be dangerous when I'm playing with mm-hmm. it. I just want it to look intimidating mm-hmm. because I want their heartbeat to be raised. When you raise a person's heartbeat, you indirectly raise increase their blood flow as well. Okay. And you know, it's similar to how our dicks get erect when we have increased blood flow. It's the mm-hmm. same thing for women because their clitoris gets erect as mm-hmm. well when they're fully erect. Would you say the clitoris was a dick that's not formed? Absolutely. Okay. That's Absolutely. How, that's how it is. Yeah, niggas be sucking dick. They usually curve back. You too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even correct you because politically speaking, like, thanks. <laughs> yeah. I just can't even form it. That's real. That's real. Yeah. And, it's really and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. I don't know if y'all are familiar with the um with the advice, but they say that in some cases for the women that enjoy their clits being sucked, you can suck it the same way a man wants his dick sucked. <laughs> yeah, we had somebody. To make you go. Like, Somebody did say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, Lurk had Lurk and Lionel on here before. Yeah. He said he, he, he sucks the clit like a dick. Yeah, like seriously. It's the same stimulation. Like just because it's a different, you know, different type of part doesn't mean it doesn't need to be stimulated the same way. Okay, That's meaning crazy. that you go up and down on it? Yeah. Okay, suppose so, you're going up and down on it and she like Remy Ma's your shit like this. While yeah, she's like doing what that. if she do this? If she, listen, bro. If she, I'm cool with this, like this. Cause I'm bald too, so I get like the Tyrese Vin Diesel mm-hmm. action on my head sometimes. Yeah. You feel me? But um, this <laughs> I got a question. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. I ate huh? pussy 
while the shorty was sitting down in the car next the to me before, uh, and this. she had to do that because you feel me? Hold on, what? Let her. Yeah. <laughs> she had to move your head like this. I'm not saying she had to, but but she did. It kind of was, and like you that. was going with the motion. Look, man, well, I was I'd like pussy. to know that. No, I was <laughs> if, it, if it makes her feel good, what's the big I deal? I mean, pussy, like, it don't matter. Yeah, yeah, I ain't like, sucking no dick. Yo, yeah, you, yeah. Um, you know it's not a it, dick. Pussy. Do you let girls like put their finger in your mouth? In my mouth? Yeah. Like, I, you know how I mean, like, it's not a hard limit, but it ain't nothing I need to do. What about in your ass? No, I haven't tried that yet. I've just recently got familiar with like getting eating my ass, ass lit. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, oh, ass okay. Yeah. Eat ass? I love eating ass. Word. Yeah. Is it like a special way to eat ass? Like you gotta move whatever she enjoys, mm. whatever she enjoys. I, I got a trick now where I, like I'll eat ass and I'll rub the clit while I'm eating ass. I like to eat it from behind, mm. so you like lick the ass and you rub the clit at the same time. What and you doing? what Driving, I do, nigga? No, but I'm like this. I know this yeah, gonna yeah. sound crazy for motherfuckers that got like ashy knuckles and shit, but like mm. I, I'll rub it with this part of my hand, the back of my hand, and what that does, it extended like a like um, a vibration, not oh, almost like a vibration, but a sensation because when it goes from each finger, it's gonna feel like start, stop, start, stop. If you touch it like that, you could do it to like your hand this. right now, and you'll you'll feel like it's you know what I mean. You'll feel like it's different things going on. Mm. So I I'll do that, but do it yeah, soft and use wet the white. It's like a rib <laughs> condom. Yeah, like a like a rib. Yeah, <laughs> and use a little lube. Don't make make sure your fin- your hands are not dry. You know what I mean. You're not cutting up or hurting her and shit like that. Yeah. And just like test it and see if she enjoys it. You can okay. always ask at the end. I'm gonna write okay. that one down. Price gonna go home and <laughs> all knuckles. So you, um, not me. Muscle man. And then you can fist her when you're done. Uh, fist them. Do How do you go about fall? fisting? What? Y'all never fisted? Nah. 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 Oh god. I try not. Man, to how far could I go? Y'all did. Oh my god! She said, "Why you looking at me?" <laughs> you yeah, done that before? I never fisted a shorty. Before. I don't want to think about competing with this. You, you know, you know what it is. So, cult- culturally, right? Let me tell you what our diagnosis is. Right? Yeah. We are West Indian. Mm-hmm. Love is West Indian. Native Jason, American. Mm-hmm. Right. So we listen to a lot of music. Music is programming, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of the music that was anti that. Mm-hmm. Right from the nineties and all that type of shit. We grew up with it and we're doing a lot of unlearning mm-hmm. now. So even eating pussy was it's a, a problem. thing, yeah. When, yeah. Car- when Vibes Cartel went in jail, mm-hmm. niggas started eating pussy. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> but you but, came uh, out, yeah. niggas started eating yeah. enough pussy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that, that, was, that, that was a not. thing. So fisting, which was like even as I was watching porn at those ages of my teens or whatever, that seemed like something on the furthest end of the so spectrum. So extreme, yeah. Right? <laughs> but now that I've been having sex for a good amount of years, it's like, is the people that's really into this? Women want to feel full. Like, we got this this misconception that women want to, like, this really long dick, but they like girth. They like mm-hmm. to feel filled because especially, like, the entrance of the pussy, you have so many different nerves and different, you know, things that make them feel good. So filling them up is, like, where you want to go. So, act, and you could you could do your own survey. Ask woman, do you want girth or, or length? Okay. And she's gonna tell you, you both. She's gonna tell you both, but if she had yeah, to choose, true. she would prefer the girth, like right. feeling that mm. feeling. Okay. It depends on, you know, from person to person, but like fisting is something that I do a lot. And it's not it's not as crazy as it sounds because when a woman is fully aroused, she will open up and it will it will accept you in. How do you, what's the strategy to get your hand in there though? So I, I always use like a non-latex glove and I use a lot of lube, but I also use a vibrator to keep them stimulated while it's happening. Mm-hmm. But I, um, another thing that can happen is if you um, make her come or have orgasm a few times before trying that, it'll really open her up. You gotta put the hand sideways or long ways. So I like to start like this. So I'll I'll, I'll have my my palm facing down and I'll kind of like pull down on the pussy. Four fingers. Yeah, four fingers. First. Yeah. Like not even. A I can start, start with two. two. I can start with two, and then I'll put the third one. And once you get the third one, the fourth one's easy, and you pull down, and you start so you to slowly down, push you put in. Put your whole hand like, in. Is this, you close, is this you like... close it inside. And you could close it on the inside, yeah. Oh shit! But it's it's it really is about being patient with it the entire time. It's not like I, I've been a like that's something I do at parties a lot. Like when mm-hmm. I'll, I'll <laughs> shit, this is crazy. Oh, shit. But yeah, it's something I do at parties a lot. Mm-hmm. They they look down and they be like, "Oh my god, you got your whole fist in it," and oh, they shit. love hearing that shit. Okay, like okay, you, you want to yeah, shit, like that shit turns them on. Is this like? Checking to see how dilated a female cervix is when she's giving birth. I don't know about that, but oh, right. nigga said ain't no doctor I, I, I in this. I don't know about yeah, that, I, but Doctor Love. Can you give us a breakdown on what the people on Patreon mm-hmm. are going to see later on? What the demonstrations you so, as we're winding down. 
Got you. So what we're going to do is some impact play. Uh, we're going to do some knife play, some electric play, some Ooh. fire play. Mm. Um, if the needs arise, maybe even from some forced orgasms. Um, and a lot of sensation plays. So I'm really big on like showing that there are different ways that you can arouse your woman um, without actually penetrating her. But don't tell them. Force, mm -hmm. Forced orgasm. Forced orgasm. And there will be a, a um, someone to demonstrate on as yes. well. So yes. tune in on Patreon. Absolutely. Yeah, facts. Bow, um, bow, bow. My brother, um, do you have anything coming up that you would like to let the people know about to anticipate any shows? Yeah, I don't know. absolutely. So we got. I'm going to be teaching a lot of classes, releasing some courses and things of that nature. So you can just go to sirmarvelous.com um, and just sign up for my mailing list and you'll have all the information there. Uh, we have a plan, a trip to Jamaica to visit Hedoism oh, out that's there. That's my place. <laughs> you went yeah, I went. That shit fire. Yeah. Have you yeah. went before? No, this will be my first time. Yeah, okay. You're going to like it. Trust any me. tips you want to give him about Hedonism? Yo, just know, just, just be prepared for it. Any and everything. Okay. You feel me? I'm with it. The food is great. You know, uh -huh. All inclusive. No, I care about the food, bro. I care about the food. I'm a foodie, bro. But listen, you're going to meet a lot of swingers. Mm -hmm. Okay. A whole lot. Yeah, there we go. You were swinging? No, I wasn't swinging. Oh, no, right. I was watching. He oh. was catching. What you was watching? <laughs> <laughs> he was fucking. <laughs> they, they have a nude beach. On a beach? And a, and a, and a non-nude beach, you feel me? When you cross over to the nude beach, you, you see no cameras, no Hold none on. of that shit. Is, oh, it, is shit. it heathenism? Like heathen? You're heathen? No, heathen. hedo. Hedo. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. okay, all right. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Nigga, do I say Listen, my brother, it was a pleasure. Definitely. Unfortunately, yes. if you don't got your funds if together, you, ain't got you it, cannot make it to the next one. You ain't got it. it. Y'all niggas smoke weed. These people, them people right here, <laughs> yeah, they, they buy a weed for, for you. Sixty dollars. You buy for seventy dollars twice $80. a day. Fast. So if we asking you for five dollars or ten dollars, I don't want to hear that, bro. Yeah. <laughs> know what I'm saying. Come on, we trying I to never, make it out the hood too. I never had it to buy seventy dollar eighths when I was young. But y'all got it. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So my brother, up your shit. It's been a pleasure. Definitely That's a fact. on Patreon. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Wow.